It literally sounded like a, uh, a branch breaking. Susan Deerhoff made it 63 years without breaking a bone. I can't make a fist. But when she fell on her wrist this I year, think. she ended up at Health One's Sky Ridge Medical Center ER. We were there all day. Um, but most of it was just waiting. She had x-rays and says two people helped her into a splint. They also advised her to consult with an orthopedic surgeon before they discharged her. So this is the first bill I received. What came next was more surprising than the broken bone. I literally felt ill. A bill for more than $18,000. Turns out her insurance wasn't any good. But when this former police detective tried to investigate by asking for an itemized accounting, she says she got the runaround. The only way that I got it resolved was I passed the information along to you. I could have screamed. We heard a similar situation from Jessica Seib. I don't like my credit being messed with. So what did you do to fix the problem? Contacted you guys. She's a surrogate mother who had a hospital visit to Health One's Rose Medical Center during her pregnancy. Then got non stop calls like these. Hello, we are calling from the business office of Rose Medical Center. Pretty much every bill was saying this is the final opportunity. Jessica says her surrogacy agency paid all her bills and even called the hospital multiple times about it. But Jessica says she continued to pay the price. Please return our call. Can you just describe why is it so difficult to get a bill resolved? I've tried to ask our hospital partners this question and to really understand it. And I just have to be honest that I, I don't fully understand. Allison Neswood works for the Colorado Center on Law and Policy, a nonprofit that pushed for medical billing reform legislation in 2021. It really does feel oftentimes like Wild West. She says people shouldn't have to call the news to get answers about their financial obligations. These critical systems need to work for everybody and the news is not going to work for everybody. Neswood tells the problem solvers a new Colorado law that starts to take effect next year will enhance accountability for hospital systems with a more robust complaint process and stricter requirements to inform patients about their rights. Medical facilities will have to screen patients for possible discounts, limit a low-income patient's bills, and provide in plain language an explanation of services and fees being billed before sending someone to collections. Until then, Neswood says a federal law that took effect in January requires hospitals to post clear, accessible pricing information online, and that may give a patient a chance to negotiate. Encourage people, as much as they can get themselves to do it, to keep looking at those bills, to keep calling a hospital and, and insisting um, that they can get information and have a payment plan that, that works for them. I understand everybody in the medical field, especially in billing, is overwhelmed, especially with the coronavirus. I get that. But when somebody's coming to you four or more times saying this bill is incorrect, something's wrong. Jessica says her problem went away after the Honestly, problem solvers got involved. And Susan's bill, a partial charity write-off has been applied to your account. Went from more than $18,000 to 1500 after the problem solvers made an inquiry. But she says she still has never seen an itemized list of charges. Had you not called them, I would still be probably in, you know, them trying to recover the full amount from me still. Both women went to separate hospitals owned by Health One, so we asked a spokesperson from Health One to answer on-camera questions about what patients can do to fix their situations more easily rather than calling the news. They declined my request but sent over this statement, which says in part, we aim to deliver exceptional care pre, during, and post visit to each and every patient. This care includes not just care at the bedside, but education necessary to ensure our patients feel informed and engaged in their own health care. If any issues related to a patient experience occur, we utilize patient advocates within each hospital who can assist in answering questions or addressing billing issues. If you need help with understanding your bills or figuring out what your rights are, I put several more great resources on our website at kdvr.com. I'm Lori Jankleha, Fox 31.